Good morning from the shores of Lake Norman, North Carolina. This is Mac Byron with Fishing with Mac. Today, I'm going to show you how to, or how I make a three hook uh, bait hook or bait rig. I use 50 pound test leader line and this is the line I use I buy it at Walmart it's inexpensive uh, 150 yards for less than three dollars this is 50 pound test this would be called the drop line here is how I go about doing it I want it to be approximately I'm gonna start off with six feet of line so I pull out from my chin to the end of my fingers twice, which is about six yards. Excuse me, six feet. Next thing I do, is double it like this, and just make an overhand Slip knot, just like that, right now. That's the way we're gonna leave it. Then I take one end and bring it back here to get the halfway point. I'm going to make another overhand knot. This line is a little stiff, which you want it to be, and it's not easy to work with. Now we need to get our third connection for a branch line. Just an overhand slip knot is all you want right here. Right now, what we got is uh, three overhand slip knots. I use 30 pound test for my branch line and the reason you shouldn't let use fishing line to do this, fishing line after a fish hits it a couple of times, it will curl and start wrapping and here's a good illustration, uh, this is 30 pound uh, leader line, this is 30 pound fishing line and you just see which one's got more uh, flex to it, the fishing line does, versus this line right here. This is also made by Zepco. It's called OmniFlex, uh, 30 pounds, 150 yards, less than $3 at Walmart. On my branch lines, I want 10 to 12 inches. About like that. I use a Palomar knot for this. Just run it in through the loop that you made with your overhand knot. Fold it around, bring it back through, bring both ends back out through the loop. this tight the knot you just made okay here let's go back to our slip knot 
and pull that tight. And as you can see, we now have our drop line or branch line uh, to put our hook on. I have found in experimenting with number two hooks and a one off hook for white perch and small catfish, a number two eagle claw plain shank hook will get the job done. You can use any kind of knot you want to attach this hook. It's not going to get a lot of pressure because mostly with this rig, what I call my white perch rig, you're going to be catching white perch up to a pound and a half, small blues, and channel caps. Just pull your knot tight. Make sure you got your tag in going through. And pull it tight. If you got teeth, you can grab hold this little tag and pull it tight. If you got false teeth, you better be using some needle nose pliers. All right, this is one uh, branch set up no need for me to go through the exercise with the other two but it's the same procedure on one end you put your swivel on use any kind of knot you want the other end use your use a clasp If I'm using this for a drift rig, I use a three quarter ounce to a one ounce snake weight or slinky weight. This is nothing but parachute cord with BBs or number four buckshot in it. You can make them, at you, you make them yourself or uh, buy them in a re retail store. In addition, and that was a drift rig, if you're over fish and it's a large school then it's a smart idea to take the same rig that you've got your bait rigs which you put your cut bait on or worms or shrimp whatever you use and attach a jigging spoon that would go right here so you over the fish and you just jig it up and down first strike you're going to get usually is on your jigging spoon and with the perch jerking it it's going to set the others in a frenzy to bite your baits up above your uh, jigging spoon now here's another rig I have already made up I call it my mini catfish uh, draft rig. With this, I use a 30 to 40 pound leader. This one is uh, less than two feet long. I use a two and a half inch uh, cigar float. It has a peg in it to hold it stationary. Here is my number two offset J hook. This is deadly for white perch in the half pound to uh, pound and a half range. And with cut bait on it, the smaller channel cats and blues are going to attack it. At first I started off this is number two. First I started off using uh, a one-all go hook made by Eagle Claw. Premise of that was if a big fish would hit it, it could bend, bend the hook and uh, 
wouldn't mess up all the other rigs or stand a chance to lose the rigs. And my fishing line that I'm using for my uh, white perch and small channel cat rig is uh, 10 to 20 pounds. In addition to this rig, I have a drop line from a slinky weight. You've got your slinky weight drag in the bottom, your baits up here. Could be lower, you don't know, you can't see the bottom. But it's a deadly rig and your hang up break is uh, maybe in four hours fishing, you might lose one rig. And if any, any of you guys, gals know, if you're putting a hook in the water, you stand a chance of uh, grabbing the bottom at any time. But this is a good little setup and it will produce fish for you. Again, I'm using this number two eagle claw hook, which is doing a good job. Using slinky weights, three quarters. Uh, to one ounce. If I'm over the fish and not drifting, then I use a jigging spoon on uh, my drop line. That's it, and thank you.